Hey guys, my name is Carlisha, and today I'm going to be doing a video, a review, a product review on the Myel Organics Bob Boost. You know, I'm so tired of saying the name of this thing. I don't, even know, I don't even know how to say it, but the Bab, whatever, Oil Mint Deep Conditioner. I'm doing a review on this deep conditioner because I asked you guys what product do you guys want me to do a review on, and you guys told me you wanted me to do a review on this. That's what I'm going to do today. And also, before I start, I want to tell you guys thank you so much for 300 subscribers. Today, um, today's Saturday, and I just hit 300 subscribers today, so thank you guys so much for that. And yeah, also, I'm recording this video really, really late at night, so just give me a thumbs up for that because it's late at night, and I still, I was like, you know what, I have to film this video because tomorrow I have to do my hair, and then after that, I had to get this video posted, okay? So, you know what? I'm dedicated, okay? Dedicated. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the packaging. This thing is eight ounces okay it's eight ounces for like sixteen dollars or fifteen I don't know I'll put the price down here um but it's eight ounces for a really really um expensive price so that's what I really don't like about this and also the product is very runny I just feel like if it's so if it's like so runny and it's only eight ounces I feel like this can go really fast if it was like a really thick deep conditioner then I feel like you could um, use it up more slowly but I feel like this goes really really fast so I feel like they should make this bottle a lot bigger um, but keep the price that they have so keep it whatever price it is but but like at least like 12 ounces or something because eight ounces like what are you doing like what are we supposed to do with that? So we're going to talk about the product claims next. So it says our Babusu Oil Mint Deep Conditioner, Mint Deep Conditioning Protein Moisture Replenisher will restore dry and damaged hair. This native Amazonian palm fruit is high in sterols and tuck. I don't know what that says, which are healthy for the hair and scalp, enriched with fatty acids that provide a rich softness to the hair, derived from natural oils and acetyl alcohol, which helps reduce frizz and flyaways. This deep conditioner is filled with two complex amino acids from wheat, soy, and other natural sources that 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 actually mimic the function of hair amino acids helping to restore the function of store and moisture to damage and dry hair safe to use on color treated hair I didn't even know that it's safe to use on color treated hair that's really cool but so it says that it's supposed to restore dry and damaged hair I don't know about it okay because let me just tell you off the, just let me just let me just tell you I don't like this product okay I know that I, I put the card right here, but my first impressions it seemed like I liked the the product. Now, when I first put the product in my hair, it, it made my hair feel so soft. It made my hair feel so moisturized in the shower. I never had a deep conditioner make my hair feel so soft. But when I was recording the video, still, my hair was still wet. And um, when my hair dried, when it wasn't wet anymore, my hair felt so stripped. It feels so dry. It just, it felt like straw. It literally felt like straw. And my hair, and I remember I said my hair wasn't defined at all. I thought it was because of the braids that I had in my hair. It was not because of the braids. This thing stripped my hair. And that first impression, that was the first and last time I used this product, okay? And I didn't, in the video, I... Um, I still recorded, like I said, I was, I was still recording it while my hair was still wet. So when my hair finally dried, I wasn't going to get back on camera and then be like, oh, I've, like, never mind. Like, this, I don't like the product anymore because I knew I was going to make a updated video, like this video right now. So I wanted to explain to I have a second video why I didn't like it, if that makes sense. Because I wanted to do a first impression and then I wanted to do, like, my final thoughts on the product. So, yeah. So, this did not restore any moisture in my hair. My hair was actually more moisturized. Um, before putting this in my hair, it just, it didn't do anything for me. And then, I want to talk about the smell too. I remember I, I said in the video that the smell was so strong to me, but after a while, um, when I was putting it in my hair, I got used to the smell. But it's like, every time I open it back up, the smell hits me. Like, it is so strong. It's so strong, but if I if I have it open for a while, I'll get used to it. But it's like once I open it up again, it just hits me, and I just the smell. I just it's so strong. I, no. 
So then I want to talk about the ingredients. They have, this has really, really, really nice ingredients inside of it. A lot of the ingredients I can't pronounce, um, in here because they have, it's like simple ingredients, but like they have like the fancy name for the ingredient. <laughs> um, so it has water, it has, um, babusu, whatever, nut oil, it has some type of oil, it has, um, cetyl ac alcohol, um, I can't pronounce a lot of these things. I don't know what the heck. So, I don't know. It has a lot of, like, it has a lot of fancy something names. Kernel oil, something butter, uh, some seed oil, lavender, lavender, whatever. If you have this product and you try to read the ingredients, you'll understand me, okay? But it has a lot of good ingredients in here. Maybe it's just something in here I'm allergic to or something because my hair, like, it just hated this product. Like, I never had something that made my hair so extremely dry. And I was so excited to try it. But the ingredients, the ingredients, they have really nice ingredients. I'm going to talk about the slip for the product. The slip on here it is okay. It's, they, it has slip, but... I feel like if my hair was just so tangled and it's just like, just knots and tangles everywhere, this is not slippery enough for me to really detangle my hair. But that's fine for me because I don't detangle my deep conditioners really anyways. I usually do it with my red sock conditioner. I usually will shampoo, then I'll um, detangle with my um, rinse out conditioner, and then I'll um, deep condition. Or sometimes if my deep conditioner is... Uh, Slippery enough that I'll do it with my deep conditioner, but most of the time I like to just do it with my rinse out conditioner. So, but if you are looking to um, detangle with your deep conditioner, I'm not going to say I don't recommend this to, de to detangle with because I know a lot of people find this to be very, very slippery for their hair. I know for me it just doesn't have enough slip to really, really, really detangle, but it's a decent de um, detangler. So overall, I just did not like this product at all. Like, I would give this like... I can't even give this like a 2 out of 10 stars like I could just I don't even know like because I didn't moisturize my I didn't I could I'll give it a negative zero I don't know it just <laughs> it made my hair so extremely dry and I don't know and I wish I could take it back to the store because it was expensive but I um I hadn't but actually when I brought it um I waited a while until I used it so I couldn't take it back to the store and it just I would get I want to give it to my mom but she won't even she won't even use it for herself either so I don't know I'm just stuck with it now so I just this product did not work for my hair at all but so yeah I will never ever buy this again let me just say this I don't want to say to not try this product I know there's a lot of people who love this product so if my if you have the same hair as me and it looks the same way it's the same width it's the same texture it's the same this and this is the same that. That doesn't mean that this product will not work for your hair. So I know so many people who this works for. I'm really the only person that I have ever heard of not liking this product, to be honest with you. Um, that's why I was so excited to try it. But it just didn't do what I wanted it to do at all. Um, I was having a lot of issues with my hair when I tried this out and it made it worse. Way, way, way worse. And it just... I can't with this product. It just, it didn't work for me. But I, for saying, do I recommend it? I still recommend it because I know a lot of people love that product. And I know that if you use that product, you probably will fall in love with it. Because there's so many people who do love it. I just personally don't. Um, but yeah, I think you should try out products for yourself and see if you like it for yourself. That's why I always listen to people when they say they don't like products. Because I like to try out stuff for myself. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's my product review. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Give this video to 30 likes. Um, add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, click the little bell so you'll, you'll be notified when I post, and bye guys. Okay. First thing we're going to talk about is spam comments, okay? People who leave spam comments, they want to watch your video for about two seconds and they want to comment in the comments and say something. They want to be like, hey, I love your makeup. Or they'd be like, they just say something that's like really like, you can tell it's not genuine at all. And they'd be like, but come check out my channel. Like they'd be like, great video, check out my channel. Like, and they won't really.